Okay, let me talk to you the difference about swing trading versus day trading. Uh, so many people talk about this, about day trading, swing trader, should I be a day trader, should I be a swing trader? Um, just as a clarification, me personally, I'm a swing trader, that's kind of what I look for. I will day trade from time to time, um, but in reality, swing trading is where the big money is at, okay? Uh, you can still make great money, $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 in day trading, but the larger money is in swing trading. So if you're looking for larger money, um, look at swing trading. So what is swing trading um, and day trading? So let me go over day trading first, and that way you can see what swing trading is. Basically, day trading is, let's say the market opens at 9.30 a.m. Okay, you purchase that stock or some kind of stock at around 10, 20 a.m. Now you do some trading in between there and you close out everything, meaning you're done trading, you own zero shares after you're trading by three o'clock. Okay, by 3 p.m. now you own nothing anymore. So you bought some stuff at around 9.20, um, you sold some in between, you bought some more, you sold some, and by three o'clock you have nothing. So you're basically trading on the day's gain um, or the day's losses, depending on if you're going short or long. And uh, day trading, that's what it means, is everything that you do, it's done within that one day. Now some of the advantages of day trading is there's no risk behind um, you know, holding positions overnight or for multiple days or news coming out, an earthquake, okay, things like that. With swing trading, you do have that issue. Swing trading is going across multiple days, okay? So you might do day one, day two, day 10. It could be day 50 or day 100. So what you might do here is on day one, you might purchase some shares. On day two, you might sell a little bit or 10% of that. Day 10, you might add more to it and purchase some more stock. Day 50, you might close out all your positions. But what this allows or gives you room is for that stock to kind of climb and grow. Yes, it'll have peaks and valleys and, and it'll do things. Uh, it'll do the same thing in day trading. But over a longer period of time, it has more room to grow. A company has actually room to grow. Day trading is basically quick and dirty. It's kind of like a uh, one night stand if you think about it. It's just something that's um, in and out. It's supply and demand of that day's action. There's no real rhyme or reason, it's human behavior. It's just kind of looking at charts and doing, doing its thing, which is not bad. But swing trading, it's kind of more about, a lot more about the company. There's a lot more uh, things you, you should watch for and it gives you an opportunity to actually make more money because you get gap ups from multiple days. So if a stock opens at like $10, let's say day one on day two, um, you know, it might open at 11 or $12 on day 10, it might be at $14. It usually stocks are not going to jump that much in a day unless they're higher priced shares. Okay. So keep that in mind, day trading versus swing trading. Like I said, me personally, I'm a swing trader. I try and swing trade m most of the time. There's other days or market environments that you may want to do more day trading because the market's crazy, which means people are crazy. So you might not want to be as risky because swing trading is slightly more risky because you're holding positions overnight. Okay. You're holding at least part of your position or, um, some of your stocks overnight and it can have an effect the next day. Something happens, news, politics, uh, the president comes out and speaks, uh, earthquakes, natural disasters, anything can happen and people will panic and your stock might dip or maybe something in the stock happened like a um, child choked on it or they found a uh, disease or poison in some kind of uh, chemical or makeup that the company had and that'll tumble the stock down overnight, huge, because markets are still going on in Asia and Europe. So be aware of that, that swing trading does have those risks, but more opportunity and day trading, you avoid those risks. So the minute that, you know, the market stops trading at, you know, four o'clock, then all of a sudden you're done and you have no risk beyond that because you have no positions, you have no stock, um, no contracts and nothing going on. So you either made your money or you took your loss for the day and, um, but you have no risk overnight. 
So that's kind of the difference between day trading and swing trading. Swing trading is multiple days. Day trading is basically just holding things for the day. And you also have long-term investing, which could be for multiple years, but typically I wouldn't look at it that way in as far as stock trading goes. Um, those are typically people that are less educated within the market. They purchase a company because they like the company as opposed to really understanding the company. And uh, that could be a long-term investment. And uh, that's what people want to do in order to save on taxes, and, and, uh, but not always the best route to take.